Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is Tuna. It's actually been finally two years of me having her. I don't know how old she is because obviously we got her from a pet store that, no jumping, <laughs> that um, they too didn't know their age. Um, there was one other, her name was Mayo. Uh, she was a lot brighter of a color of her. Uh, this is Tuna, like her color was a lot more grayish. I call her tuna because it just looked like the color of tuna and I love tuna so <laughs> just kind of matched. I am holding her by the tail ever so slightly just so she can't run away. Don't fall. But um, yeah, I had one other as well <laughs> called Mayo and she was a very bright white gerbil. And unfortunately she did pass away. She, We don't know what happened. She just kind of stopped eating and got very weak, but she was the one who did absolutely everything um, for Tuna, like uh, she would get the food, she would gather all the bedding, she'd do everything. And so now when um, Mayo got ill, Tuna took up that position and started doing everything for Mayo. And now Mayo has been gone for quite some time now, um, but we still have Tuna, Tuna has been doing absolutely fine. Thankfully, Tuna was not affected by anything that um, Tuna went through. She just pooed on my hands. <laughs> but um, yeah, she's doing absolutely great, which is amazing because we were kind of af afraid that if we left them in together that if Mayo got affected with something or she had something, um, that it could affect Tuna. Thankfully, it didn't. Um, we did keep them together because obviously it was better for Tuna that, well, better for Mayo that uh, Tuna was there for her and not alone because they've been together for a very long, very long time and so that's why we took them on together because we knew that separating the gerbils when they've been together for so long, like they've always been together, it it was just the best idea to keep them together. Um, but thankfully, Tuna was not affected. Tuna's doing absolutely amazing and I've had her for two years now, which is absolutely insane. But yeah, she's doing great, like look at her colour. <laughs> I am holding her by the tail just ever so slightly. And yeah, she has a thing where she poops a lot whenever she's picked up. Um, she has no problem with being picked up, she's just very like, she wants to run around. Like if I put her down on the floor, she will just stay there. And she'll look around around everything, she won't just like, um, bolt off. Which is, which is very nice to know, like she's very calm sometimes in my hand as well and she will bite me occasionally. Like, I, I know that she's going to do it eventually. She could do it right now, actually, but you can just see her. Look how cute she is. Her colour over time has gotten more whiter. I have noticed that. No biting, please. I know that she's going to bite me eventually, but I just don't want it to happen still. It is an uncomfortable feeling. <laughs> biting ain't that bad. It doesn't make me bleed or anything. It's kind of just like a nibble. Like when a bird pecks you, basically. But, um, yeah, I've had her for two years now, and it's been insane. Want to go down? here. No, I don't want you to go there. <laughs> she, there's like a jump here, so I'm having to hold her tail just so she doesn't like jump off. But yeah, she's been doing great so far. You want to go to the camera? Yeah? <laughs> oh gosh, come here. She's holding onto the neck curtain. I'm trying to make sure that I don't actually drop her when doing this. But yeah, this is her. So cute and adorable. <laughs> She's absolutely adorable, like, insanely adorable. Look how cute she is. Oh, mm, So cute. Yeah, like, she is the cutest ever. But yeah, I've had her for two years now, and it's been insane. Like, I've learned a lot taking care of gerbils and everything, because obviously, gerbils are kind of, like, um, very close to rats, but they're not, and Difference is because of the tails. But um, there's obviously more differences than that, but the tail is like number one. And it's been it's been insane taking care of her and having her and stuff. She's curling up into a ball now. <laughs> but yeah, I've had her for two years now. Unfortunately, I couldn't have Mayo for two years, but I've had her for two years and it's been going great. And she's just living the life. Yeah. I will start a montage of her now because why the hell not? But yeah, here she is. <laughs> 